Many of us will see an historic home and appreciate it for just that. Others will see the same home and experience a weird feeling, a spiritual connection to that place. Well, Char Potterbaum decided to do something about that feeling, as Rob Wiles discovers in our first story. So it's a nice day out here. It's you lovely. Like, you like to come out here to the San Oh, we well? love it here. Okay. We absolutely love it here. We feel like, I don't know, somehow it's a part of us. We can't, we can't figure that one out, but we feel that way. Is that why you decided? Yeah, that's why I want Char to. Potterbaum is one of those people who gets feelings, and she has a strong one about her hometown. I think Smyrna is, is on holy ground. The whole place is so peaceful. It's wonderful to live here. I think that the, the ground where all those horrible battles were and terrible things happened are just like hallowed ground. On this hallowed ground sit historic homes, like the Sam Davis home, which Shard decided to capture in a work of art, created not with paint or pen, but using cloth to construct her creations. I just love expressing myself. It's a need, it's just something I need to do. And then I just love fabrics and I would see in the fabric store, I'd walk along and my sister would say, what are you doing? I said, well, this would make a really good tree or a really good bush. She says, how do you see that? And I says, I don't know, but it just goes with what I do. She does what she does mainly to historic houses and older homes for reasons even she isn't sure of. I don't know, maybe, maybe I was meant to be an architect. I just like houses and old houses especially. As an architect might, Char's houses are designed and built one step at a time, starting with a photograph. And then I blow it up, and then I cut it out like pattern pieces. When you figure out what's behind first, the sky would be behind, and then you come forward, and you, anything that would, um, you know, and then I put the grass in too so that I lay my, everything there, and I work from the back out but it's, it, I love it because if you make a mistake, you just cut another piece, uh, you know, so <laughs> I guess with paint it would be more severe. <laughs> and as a carpenter might choose a specific wood for a specific job, Char has her favorite material for her constructions. Basically, it's cotton. I back it all with a light, uh, a light backing and adhesive so that it's not gonna fray. And, and then I just start cutting out just like I would a pattern and I, I take the object, the house or the home or whatever, or the face, and I have it blown up, uh, and I use that as a pattern. I cut those pieces out, and I, then I cut out fabric and put it all together. But I love, I love what happens when I do that. Charlene has channeled that love of creation into more than just her artwork. She's also a best-selling author, writing mainly about her adventures while raising six children. What I did when the kids were growing up, they would do and say the cutest things and I'd write them down. I don't care if it was a grocery slip or a McDonald's wrapper or whatever. And I'd save them and I'd put them in a, in a little clip thing and I'll, someday I'm going to write a book about this crazy family because they, mm -hmm. they were so much fun. But I love expressing myself and I love writing up what, what the, the kids did. They mm -hmm. were, <laughs> it, was, it was fun. Many things in Char's life have turned out very well and her artwork has provided some memorable moments. I mean, take the time she was on a trip with friends and they were reading a book by Carol Burnett and, well. The, there was a small picture, it couldn't have been more than an, one inch by two inch of her great grandmother's home. And I said, oh, it's a Victorian home. I would love to do that up in fabric. And my sister, who thinks I can do anything she sets her mind to, <laughs> she said, Charlene, why don't you do it? Draw it up or make it up and, and, and send it to her. I said, oh, I don't know how to do that. But I did. I, it turned out so well. I just sent a picture of it. Okay, that's good. But Carol Burnett actually saw the photo. When she saw the picture, I guess she cried. She said it, she loved it so much. She wanted to pay for it, and I appreciated that, but I said, well, tell her to, to send a donation to our church building fund, and she sent a $500 check to the oh, church building nice. fund, yeah. which was another happy day. Happy days happen to Char, even at an age when many are feeling tired, maybe even discouraged. I learned down through the years what works and what doesn't work. And I would tell my kids, I said, guys, I've got to tell you, 
being kind feels so much better. And I said, if you can just remember that, always being kind. I've just found all these years that I've lived, there are so many things. And one of the most important things is to love yourself and stay in the present moment. You can, you can do really well with, with both. If you want the peace that, that really belongs to us, that's one way to get it, and gratitude. Keeping your heart full, full of gratitude. That sums up Char Potterbaum, grateful to be able to share her many talents.